好，二零一四年嘅第九条题目就系讲非传染病嘅。以下嘅呢个表格咧就话俾我哋听啦，喺香港咧系有几多人系死于呢三款病啦，心脏病、糖尿病同埋大肠癌。佢哋分别嘅性别嘅分布啦，同埋年纪嘅分布咧都俾咗我哋啦。题目之前咧就先讲一讲先啦。呢、這个题目咧就系考紧我哋嘅诠释技能嘅，我哋嘅运算能力啦。比較數據嘅能力啦，同埋歸納數據嘅能力嘅，我哋先嚟拍 A 啦。要我哋排次序，就睇下呢三款病痛嘅死亡率，究竟啦要排一個遞減嘅次序咯。咁所以記得翻啦 ，descending 係遞減，由大至細，三一大過廿一大過八大過七。先問遞減啫，下次問遞升得唔得？咁啊，由小至大啦。咁其實今次嘅題目咧。個 skill 值都非常之簡單啦，就係將某一個特定嘅病，佢哋嘅男女嘅死亡率加埋、加埋、加埋就已經係啦。咁所以發現啦，心臟病六千幾。糖尿病四百几，大肠癌千三，咁所以自不然排嘅次序咧，心脏病第一，第二就系大肠癌，第三就系糖尿病啦。如果到 Part B 啦，就要我哋利用楼上嘅数据去归纳一个趋势出嚟。归纳呢三个疾病嘅死亡率嘅趋势啦。其实呢条题目咧系考我哋有关于高危因素啊。今次嘅 table 咧，我哋有两个因素，一个系性别，一个系年纪。咁究竟边个关系大啲咧？我哋就观察一下，因为呢三款疾病而死嘅人咧，究竟啦系咪因为年纪越大越容易病，越容易死，定还是男人容易啲病，男人容易啲死咧？咁其实啦，都系拿翻啲数字嚟计嘅啫。咁啊，用返啦，本身男女嘅比例哦，三千几对二千几，二百几对二百几，七七八头到六八头，其实个数字都相约嘅。咁当然啦，你加埋晒之后呢，咁三个病加埋啊嘛，个病相差少少，咁梗係会令到两边嘅数字係会擘大咗嘅。咁但係我哋逐个病去睇呢，其实就差唔多嘅。跟住啦，我哋就睇下年纪咯。我零到十四岁呢，其实都系一一个两个，我其余呢都冇乜点死添。但系啦，由十五岁开始去到六廿五岁咧，你会发现啦，就渐渐递增啦，系嘛，不断增加、增加、增加。咁所以我哋都会发现啦，原来死亡率嘅趋势咧，系同年纪咧系有关系嘅。嗱，今次呢个题目咧系各一分嘅啫。咁但系你会发现啦，如果当 Part B 咧，佢当通识咁问你系可以嘅，变做四分啫嘛。啊，要有个趋势，个趋势就系咧，心脏病、糖尿病同大肠癌咧个死亡率咧。系随住年纪增加而增加嘅，跟住咧咪运用数据咯，根据资料啊，零到十四岁呢个死亡率就咁多咁多，由十五岁打后开始咧就不断增加啦，增加咗几多啊？系咪要计下数啊？但系今次咧，我哋就系一分啫，咁所以讲咗俾我哋听个主题句咧就已经足够啦。跟住啦，去到 Part C 啦，就睇另一个 table 啦。呢、這个 table 咧就系讲紧佢哋嘅生活模式啊，日日食烟啦，从来唔食烟啦，每个礼拜食四份。嘅加工嘅肉类啦，可能系午餐肉啊、香肠啊、咸鱼啊之如此类啦。咁题目就问我哋啦，有关于下面嘅呢两款疾病——心脏病、大肠癌，佢哋男性、女性嘅生活模式同佢哋嘅死亡率有冇啲乜嘢嘅关系咧？所以成条题目要考我哋嘅就系呢两款疾病嘅高危因素。究竟食啲乜嘢，做啲乜嘢系会大啲机会患有呢个病，从而会死亡呢？我哋又要先去睇下 table one 啦。男性、女性佢哋个死亡率有咩差异呢？同佢哋嘅生活習慣有咩关系呢？我哋先睇下心脏病咯。男性嘅死亡率系稍高于女性嘅，而从佢哋嘅生活習慣呢，我哋都会发现男性呢，原来系食多啲烟噶。每一日食煙嘅咧係七十八點九個 percent， 但係女性咧只係廿一點一個 percent。從來冇食過煙嘅咧，女性佔咗六成幾，男性咧係得三成幾嘅啫。原來啦，男性係多啲吸煙嘅。而邊一樣嘢係會導致到心臟病㗎？就係、是、尼古丁，因為尼古丁係會導致血管收縮，就有機會導致中風啦，或者爆血管嘅情況啦。跟住啦，就係到大腸癌咯。男性嘅死亡率又係略高於女性嘅。咁原來男性每個禮拜食用超過四份嘅加工肉類咧。原来嗰个人数咧，又比起女性又较为多少少啊，大约六四比啦。咁加工肉类有咩咁特别啦？就例如啦，喺咸鱼咧都有亚硝胺，咁呢个亚硝胺咧都系一款致癌物，亦都系一款 mutagen， 会增加到基因突变嘅机会嘅。咁从而啦，男性就有大啲嘅机会患有大肠癌啦。又嚟到一点出发嘅时间啦，今次嘅题目咧就系、是、问死亡率嘅，就俾啲数据我哋去理解啦。即系题目围绕嘅咧。就係、是、非傳染病，咁非傳染病除咗生活模式病之外咧，亦都有基因遺傳病嘅。
。咁當然啦，嗱三款病呢，其實都係同生活習慣呢係有關係嘅。而當中呢，亦都可以問下大家有關於處理管理嘅問題啦、高危因素啦，同埋如何防御嘅。而呢個題目啦，俾個圖表我哋就係想我哋做一個科學探究，去研究一下死亡率同佢哋嘅性別啦。年紀啦，有冇啲咩嘅關係？所以啦，今次牽涉嘅技巧咧，就係尋找規律啦。而另一款可以再問你嘅就係問下傳染病咯。嗱，今次就冇問嘅，下次可能會問啦。可能問下有關於病原體啦，問下有關於身體嘅身體一二三四都可以拉到落去，有關於抗體啦、吞噬細胞啦，諸如此類嘅身體防衞嘅機制。而有關於傳染病，其實都可以做科學探究嘅喎。例如呢款疾病啦，佢個來源喺邊度啦？有幾多人死咗啦？死亡率係幾多啦？啊，佢哋死嘅時候啦，究竟有啲咩嘅病徵啦？我哋可以去探究下啦。究竟啦，係乜嘢嘅人容易啲感染呢？啊，係年輕嘅人啦，定係年老嘅人呢？之如此類都係我哋嘅探究嘅一部分嚟。Two one four question nine is about the non-infectious disease. So in this table, it shows the number of deaths in Hong Kong caused by the certain diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and colon cancer. And the data they are categorized according to sex and the age. So for this question, is checking our critical skills, the synaptic skills. How can we deal with the numbers? How can we compare the data? And how can we generalize the data? So for part A, we need to do the ranking, rank the disease in the descending order of the mortality. So first of all, we need to clarify what is descending order and the ascending order. Descending order, that means from big to small, 31, 21, 8, and 7. Maybe next time it can ask you the ascending order, 7 smaller than x, smaller than 21, smaller than 31. And then for the numeric skills, how can we do the ranking? So we just need to do the sum of the death rate for all ages and sex. So and then we can compare the data. So we can see that the highest one is the heart disease and the second one is colon cancer and for the third one is the diabetes. And for part B, from the data above, generalize a trend of the mortality that is exhibited by all the diseases. So for this part, we need to recall the risk factor of the non-infectious disease. And then we need to identify there are two factors shown in the table, sex and the age. And then we need to observe any correlation between these two factors and the mortality caused by these diseases. First of all, we can compare the male and the female death rate. 3,000 something and almost 3,000, 200 something and then 200 something and then 700 or 600. So the number more or less the same. Highly similar. Surely, if we add up all the numbers, so the difference will be bigger. But if we observe the disease one by one, so we can see the number is very, very similar. But how about the age group? So we can see that from 0 to 14, the death rate is very, very low. However, after 15 years old and to the 65 years old, so we can see the number is really increasing. So we can conclude that the number of death increased with the age groups. So for part A, part B, Actually, they can be modified to be the liberal studies question, the data response question. We use the data and then we generalize the trend. For the liberal study, so there will be four marks. So how can you use the topic sentence to generalize the concept, generalize the trend, and then use the data according to the data, blah, 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 blah. So, and then do some calculation about the increases of the death rate. And for the part C, for the table 2, it shows the relative proportion of the male and female in the above table who had particular lifestyles. Smoking daily, never smoke, having more than 4 servings of the processed meat per week. And the question is answered for the following diseases, heart disease and colon cancer, explain how this lifestyle of the male and females related to the number of deaths in the table 1. So for this question, we need to recall the relevant risk factor of these two diseases, heart disease and the colon cancer. And then we need to use the data in the table 1 about the death rate in male and female. We need to do the comparison. And then we relate the data to the table 2, which is about the lifestyle. So let's start from the heart disease. We need to compare the number of deaths in male and female for heart disease. We can find that heart disease kills more male than the female. 3,300 something compared to 2,900 something. And we compare their lifestyle. So we can find that for the male, around 80% of them, they smoke daily. And for the female, around 60% of them, they never smoke. We can see that more male were daily smokers. 
And for the lifestyle of smoking, how is it related to the number of thefts in Table 1? So we need to recall what is the harmful substance in the cigarette related to the heart disease, which is the nicotine. Because nicotine, it can cause the constriction of the blood vessel, or it can increase the chance of the blocking of the blood vessels. So there is high chance to need to stroke in the patient. And for the colon cancer, we can find that colon cancer kills more males than the female, 700 something to 600 something. And then we observe their lifestyle. Around 60% of the male, they have more than four servings of the processed meat per week. So what is the harmful thing in the processed meat? Because they may contain some chemicals, particularly the carcinogen, for example, the nitrosamine in the salted fish, in the processed meat. So they are the carcinogen, they are the mutagen to stimulate mutation. So there will be a high chance for the genetic mutation in the patient and need to cancer. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question talk about the mortality first. It focuses on the non-infectious disease, including the genetic disease and the lifestyle disease. So from the table, we need to do the scientific investigation, some statistic to seek the pattern, the sex for the age, which one are the risk factor, or maybe the living style. And apart from the non-infectious disease, we can also ask you about the infectious disease. So we can ask about the pathogens, and the body defense but what about for the scientific investigation about the infectious disease is it possible absolutely possible for example we can investigate where is the origin of a particular infectious disease or which group of the people the younger one the elderly are more easily infected by those germs bacteria or virus